Amen. We got to be born again, over again. It's, you got to do it all over again. Nicodemus said, how can a man be born a second time? Can he enter into his mother's womb again a second time and come out and be born? How am I going to be born again? Tell me how to do it. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of water, you got to be water baptized in Jesus' name, and of the Spirit, you got to be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Only God will give you the Spirit. He will fill you with the Holy Ghost. If you don't get that, you cannot enter, the Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 5. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You can't. There is no way. You got to receive the Holy Ghost, man. And the Spirit of God, when it comes down on the inside of you, you will know you will have boldness. It'll be a holy boldness. And you won't fear what you have to say to people and tell them about pulling them out of the fires of hell. You won't be scared to tell somebody that they have to get out of that burning building because it's going to explode. It's going to fall down. You're going to die. So you go over there and you pull it out of the fire. But when you're going out today, amen, trying to pull people out of the fire, amen, people get upset. They're mad because you told them what to do right. Hey, don't talk to me like that. You don't know God. God ain't never told you that. You say, no, you're going to die. No, I'm not. They don't want to hear the truth. Nobody does, especially here in America. A lot of evil is going on in the world, yeah, but in America, it's great. You're spoiled with your evil. You got evil all over the world, but America is spoiled in the evil. The uh, uh, government is allowing evil to come in. They're like, welcome in there. Come on, everybody. Come on, this is a melting pot for sin. Come on. They love it. There's no offense to you over there in the Philippines. Ain't nobody talking about y'all. Nobody's getting on you guys. I'm saying that Philippines are nice people there. Y'all show love. You're family oriented. You guys love each other. Some people in America are like that. But America is a, a big old bowl of different cultures. When you say American, who are you talking about? A black man, a, a brown man, a white man, a purple man, a pink man. You're talking all of them. It's not one race of people. You can't look at one individual and say, that's an American right there. You identify him by the way he looks. No. He could be a very, very dark black man, dark as his jacket. And you'd be like, oh, that's an African. No, he's an American. He's an American. And American people are what I call Americanized. There's a certain type of style that we have here in America. And a lot of Americans are proud to be an American. And they will stand up for this country when the time is right. Now, go to uh, Proverbs 14, 14. Proverbs 14, 14. Amen. Here's what it says. It says here in 14.14, The backslider in heart, in his heart, shall be filled with his own ways, and a good man shall be satisfied from himself. Now look at the backslider once again. The backslider. Now, the Hebrew word for backslider means to go back, literally to retreat. Figuratively, it means to apostatize, which means the abandonment of a former loyalty as to a religion. Also, to turn back or away. See? To turn back or away from what you once have believed. So we can see that the backslider is a person who was saved but has turned away and abandoned the faith. 1 Timothy 4.1 He has abandoned the faith. Go to 1 Timothy 4.1 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Here's what it says. It says, Now the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, 
Kairos with the capital S here speaketh expressly. It's speaking straight to you exactly what it's going to say. It says that in the latter times, which should the days we are living in now, says some shall depart from the faith. The word depart in Greek means to refuse to follow or obey or recognize. It means to give up on. Some people will give up on the faith. What faith? You talking about the faith we saved by? What faith? Paul's talking about saved folks who were saved. Amen. We are saved by grace through faith. And as you said on the film, uh, on the Facebook, not by works, lest any man should boast. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nobody say anything about works. That I'm working my way to heaven. Well, I'm working my way back to you, babe. But I have it I'm working my way. Now, I'm, am I, God, did I do enough work? Did I get in heaven yet? Not yet. Okay, let me do some more work. Okay, more work, work, work. Am I done yet? No. Jesus did the work, brother. Everybody knows that. So the one that did the work gives the rules. And he said, I want you to do it my way. Turn away from sin. Well, I don't want to, because we are all sinners anyway. No! I said, stop it. Go and sin how many times more? No more. Somebody say, no more. No more. No more. Don't do it no more. And that's what it's like. Now, if you want to go do it, you're fine. You go on and do it. Go on and keep sinning. I'm going to shoot. Don't matter to me. I'll tell you what the scriptures say. Go to 2 Thessalonians 2-3. 2 Thessalonians 2-3. Here's what, listen what it says. It says, let no man deceive you. Now the word deceive means in Greek to lead someone astray. Let no one lead you astray. See? Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day, the day of the Lord, shall not come. Got to keep reading. The day of the Lord, when Jesus comes back, that ain't coming. Until when? When? When is it going to come? How do we know? It says, except. Except what? How's it going to come? Except there come a fall away first. Some people got to get away. They got to go away from the kingdom of God. They got to turn their back on Jesus or he won't come. That's what the Bible said. Say, like, man, everybody believe in me? Oh, okay, everybody believe it. I need somebody to turn their back. Somebody, well, there's somebody turning it back. Here I come. He ain't coming until you fall away. Somebody got to stop being saved. Many are called, but few are chosen. Just because you're chosen don't mean that you're going to stay saved. He chose you to be saved. You think that means you're going to stay saved? Yes, you do. Jesus told the disciples. When he said, you have to drink of my, unless you drink of my blood, eat of my flesh. Amen. He said, you uh, 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 can't be a part of me. They was like, what? This is a hard saying. Man, I'm gone. They said, man, I don't like the way you're talking like that. The way you're talking, man, I'm gone, bro. I don't like talking. I don't like that. It's too much. Uh, you too much, man. And all the people went away. And then the disciples were still there. And he asked the disciples, said, will you leave too? Y'all gonna leave? Go ahead, y'all gonna leave? They said, nah, nah, we know you got the words of eternal life now. We know. He said, yeah, that's right, but even though I chose 12 of you, I chose, chose, many call you are chosen. He said, I chose 12 of you, yet one of you is a devil. One of you gonna turn your back. On me, after walking with me in salvation and deliverance for three and a half years, one of y'all gonna betray me. One of you gonna turn your back on me, and that is the, like the church. Ain't it? You got people all through the church, and so many people is a certain percentage that turn their back on Jesus. Judas Iscariot. Was a traitor. He was a devil. He 
turned his back on Jesus Christ after walking with him all those years. And so all the people in Calvinistic doctrine, they all said, well, he must not really be saved. This man walked with Jesus for three and a half years. He walked in deliverance for three and a half years. He watched miracles for three and a half years. He watched healings for three and a half years. He even seen two incidences where thousands of people were saved, which is a little bit of a bag of arch for three and a half years. Huh? He seen people rise from the dead for three and a half years. Most Christians today ain't never even saw a miracle yet. Christians that's walking with God for 50 something years. Don't well, tell me that Judas wasn't delivered and saved walking with Christ every day face to face, sleeping in the same areas with him, in the same building, under the same roof with the master from heaven, in the presence of God, literally. Don't well, tell me he wasn't saved at one point until he made his own decision to turn his back or retreat or backslide uh, from the Lord. He backslided or backslid, however you say it, he did it. Who do you say that once you're saved, you're always saved? Well, what happened to Judas? Didn't make it to heaven, did he? Acts chapter 1, read that. Didn't make it, did he? Didn't think so. He backslid. Didn't get back right with God in time before he died. Didn't make it. Didn't make it. Acts chapter 1. Read it. Amen. There are many things that cause... Look, uh, even in 1 Timothy 5.15, it says, For some are already turned aside after Satan. Some people already turned aside after they have been saved. Just talk about Some people already turned aside after Satan. After being in Christ. Well, maybe they weren't really saved. They're really saved, man. Some people get really saved, and then they get really not saved again. I'm not saved no more. I don't want to be saved. Some people change their mind. Some people stop smoking cigarettes, and then they decide, after they say from smoking cigarettes, that they want a cigarette again, so they go back. Maybe he really didn't stop smoking. Yeah, he did. He stopped smoking, and he started back again. How you, that's just, put it in reverse. Maybe he didn't really start smoking a cigarette. He's smoking a cigarette and smoke come out of his face, out of his mouth and his nose. He started smoking cigarettes. How can you say he didn't? See, just like if you reverse it. People just make up stuff. It's doctrine. When it's made up, it's doctrine. They're like, so, 